Hi everybody, it's Margaret Crane Lurio with Block to Brilliant. Welcome to the ADHD Video Club at ADHDvideoclub.com. I want to talk to you today about negotiating or working with your child's teacher or teachers. So as a former teacher, let me explain what goes on with teachers. So first of all, we are not very respected. So we may have a chip on our shoulders. When a parent calls, it is not uncommon to think, oh no, what are they going to tell me I'm doing wrong this time? Now that doesn't happen with every teacher, but it, it happens enough so that we, put a, we, we may put our guards up a bit. Teachers also are tired. <laughs> Teaching is hard work. And part of the reason it's hard work is because we have so many kids in the class. And even though we're teaching the same les lesson to all those kids, we have to pay attention to 30, 35 kids. And here's the part that's the kicker. They're trying to draw energy from us. So a student will look to the teacher for inspiration. And when you have 35 kids, it's trying to get inspiration from you. That's quite a lot. So we get tired. Um, so when you want to enlist the teacher's help, you want to go about it in a kind way. Um, you want to talk about partnership and negotiation. What how can we make this work for both of us? What are you willing to do? And here's what I would like. What, what works for you? I, as a coach, tend to push a little more because I do have experience as a teacher. And sometimes teachers are told to say no, so, and so they do. Um, and you, you may be able to get them to say yes to something with the right approach. So that would be something that I would do in a coaching appointment. I would help you figure out how to talk to that teacher. Or I can be on the phone while you're talking to that teacher. You always want to make sure that the teacher knows how much you appreciate him or her. Um, that is very energizing for a teacher because we don't hear that very often. Um, you know, the, the kids I worked with that had trouble and the parents would come and bring me a Starbucks, you know, or, or just popped in to say hi, um, brought, you know, I, I brought you some flowers or, you know, just little things like that, a hug, like, thank you so much. And then, you know, getting a hug was like, it made me feel fantastic. It made me feel like all this hard work is totally worth it. None of us as teachers want to see your child do poorly. We, we want to see your child succeed. So, some, so we would welcome some suggestions, but we don't want to be told what to do. I hope this helps. You get an idea of how to interact with teachers. If you have any more questions, please feel free to email me at blocktobrilliant at yahoo.com. Thanks, everybody. Take care.